Hey y'all, Irick Sky here, and I've received a lot of questions from fans, and this is something that I wanted to uh, uh, personally reply to in, in the form of videos. So check the link within this video's description, and you'll be able to find the, the, uh, the micro SD card that I'm using here. But I want to show you out of the box that this memory card works great with my Phantom 3 Professional. It should work with Phantom 3 Advanced as well. Um, I've just got the professional. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove my uh, my gimbal guard thingy because obviously you don't want that on when you power up your Phantom. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is open up the micro SD card and again check the link within this video's description. You can find this this particular model of micro SD card because there are subtle differences among SD cards when it comes to speed and uh, and other specs so you know you've it, just because one memory card works doesn't mean that another one will so that's why I'm I'm specifically showing you the uh, the memory card that I use that you can find within this video's description on 400 or below dot com to, to hopefully help you because it's there's few things worse than ordering a memory card or going out to a store and buying a memory card and then and then finding out it doesn't work. So what's cool about this memory card is that it comes with a full size SD adapter. And that's nice, especially if you're downloading your video to a, uh, to a computer that has an SD card slot. Or maybe you don't have an SD card slot on your computer. Uh, check the link within this video's description also for a, uh, I've, got a I've got a thing there that you can insert a micro SD card or an SD card in and then plug into a computer's USB port. So we got it out of the packaging, a very simplistic packaging. So again, this is the full size SD caddy that if you had an SD card slot, you could just stick your micro SD card in there and download the videos after you return home, videos or photos for that matter. But what we're gonna do is take this uh, the 64 gig micro SD card and we're gonna take out the uh, the 16 gig that came with the with the Phantom 3. Now, if you if you look at your and in my case, my Phantom 3 Professional came with a Lexar uh, micro SD card. But I'm going to, as I mentioned, and and I'm going to do away with it, and I'm going to put a 64 gig in. Now, a lot of people may say, well, why do you want to go 64 gig versus 16? Well, when you've got multiple batteries in your case and you're out in the field for a day, especially if you're doing 4K video with the, uh, with the Phantom 3 Professional, that card can fill up somewhat quickly. So, in my opinion, it's better to have this card at 64 gig so that I can... Um, I can fly multiple batteries and not have to worry with changing the card. So I'm going to stick that in the Phantom 3. Uh, we're going to power on the Phantom 3 uh, with this new card in uh, inserted here. We're going to go through the format procedure here. I'm going to show you that and you know just let everyone see that this mem that this micro SD card works because I know there's a lot. You know, as I mentioned previously, there's a lot out there that that do not like the Phantom 3. So, or I guess I should say that the Phantom 3 does not like. We're going to get this fired up here. Okay, so I got my... I tell you, I love this short iOS cable, and, and again, it's in the link within this video's description. Just makes things so much cleaner when you're plugging your uh, uh, plugging your iPhone or your iPad or iPod Touch into your controller. So we're gonna slide this up here. Uh, what I'm gonna do is obviously always turn your controller on first. I have no intent to fly right now, so I'm not powering on. I'm not putting on the propellers, uh, but I did remove the gimbal guard before I powered it on. I'm gonna power on the Phantom 3 Professional, 
And I'm gonna come over here so you can see what you do when you put this new memory card in. Because just putting it in, even though it may not have any data on it from the factory, you wanna make sure it's properly formatted, properly configured for your Phantom 3 before you use it. Because a lot of people have put in a new micro SD card and they just went out to the field and it didn't work. So here's what you do, you hit camera, And then we can disregard this because we're not about to fly. So we just hit X. We can go into this little icon right here. It looks like a camera with a gear. And with your finger, swipe down. Or hit more, rather. I'm sorry. And then slide down. You'll see this bottom option. It says Format SD. So we're going to hit Format SD. Are you sure you want to format the card? Obviously this is a brand new card right out of the packaging. Um, so there's no concern with photos or videos being on it. If you were formatting a card that's previously been used, you would want to make sure that you've backed up your photos and or videos or other documents that may exist on that card before you hit Format because this will erase everything. So if you're confident you have everything you need, which in this case I do, brand new card out of the box, nothing on it. I'm going to hit OK. SD card formatting complete. Hit OK. You can then press anywhere on your screen. And now you can see, look at this. Ha ha ha. See that little timer right there? It says 2 hours, 21 minutes, and 57 seconds. And that's at a 4K, 30 frames per second. So that begs another question I'm going to address in other videos. How much storage space can you get with a micro SD card in Phantom 3 Professional? So check the link within this video's description. You can get this memory card. And also check out that video where I'm going to go through the various video modes and show you with this 64 gig micro SD card how much video recording time one should expect. Um, with the Phantom 3 Professional in the various video modes. But you can see right here in 4K30, which is what I use, I've got 2 hours, 21 minutes, and 57 seconds. And just to start the little ticker going down, let's hit record. And so you can see that's counting down. See right there where it says two, 2 hours, 21 minutes, and 50 seconds. And see that's counting down. So now if I stop the video, now it's not recording. See, now I've got two hours. So let's say I just flown the first battery and I flew it for 10 seconds for whatever reason. So now when I go to the next battery in the Phantom, I hit record. Recording my next video clip, it's counting down. So I've got a total, as I mentioned, two hours, 21 minutes. And, you know, I mean, that's when you're looking at a battery with a Phantom, and in my case... I typically get, I typically fly around 20 to 20, right around 20 minutes or so. And that's a lot of video. So, yep, that's why I got the, uh, the 64, uh, 64 gigs. So, again, check the link within this video's description. You can find the memory card that I'm using here for the Phantom 3, as well as that, uh, you know, the Phantom 3 itself, I've got the Advanced and the Professional that I have here. And then I've also got all these other accessories. Case, backpack, this really cool short uh, iOS cable. And if you can't find what you're looking for, uh, just shoot me a message by way of 400 or belowcom or my Facebook fan page or here on YouTube, wherever you want to. And I'll be happy to, uh, happy to try to find it for you. Thanks for watching and y'all have a good day.